Hello there, my name is Becca Martinati. I'm the founding director at Proxima, whereby we do build software to basically make your customer support better. We do integrate artificial intelligence into your pipeline. And uh, today I'm so honored to be joined by a man that, that I've known for the past 14 years and so, Mr. Liban himself, the founding director at ATM College. And he's a man like who has uh, very now good values, principles, and he has uh, built uh, ATM College for the past uh, five years to be a pioneer in the now embassy now area. Mr. Liban, over to you. Exactly, I appreciate you. So hello guys, uh, as you have heard, my name is Liban ATM. <coughs> I'm the founding uh, director of ATM College. ATM College is actually a school of ICT and languages uh, located in uh, Comorock Sector 3 and our new branch in uh, Nasara Garden Gate D. Yeah, sure. So today we'll be talking about customer support in the now educational sector because the customer support is an extremely important field, especially when you do have so many stakeholders. You do have your parents, you do have your now students, you do have your team. And I just uh, thought it twice to bring in Mr. Liban. And because Mr. Liban is a pioneer in that particular field, yeah, so maybe now he can share more on that. Exactly. So I think um, customer support is actually, you see, uh, when you're running any business, yeah, yeah. be it a, a school or be yeah, it sure. a, anything, yeah. we involve our customers. Yeah, our customers sure. and our clients are always yeah. involved there. So yeah. actually, I, th I, th I think that on, a, on any business which is being run, the first platform which they should be like actually putting in, consider, in consideration is actually uh, the customer focus, which okay. I think actually a Proxima has tried actually to, uh, to chip in, work more easier on our side. Since you see now the interaction uh, between the students yeah. and the academia, and the parents and the students and the, uh, and the staff to the students and the staff uh, to the parents uh, yeah. uh, a relationship was also uh, a bit made yeah, easier. Yeah, yeah, so sure. I think uh, uh, a proxy actually came in and they actually uh, it, it was actually a bridge in between yeah, the, sure. uh, the, yeah, the, yeah. the the three platform and the commun uh, communication issue was actually made more easier. If yeah, sure. yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. Okay, so Mr. Liban, I think one important aspect of uh, customer support is something we call now student centric, meaning that whatever you are now doing. You want to personalize, yeah, like you want to personalize it to that particular student, and you want to now do this at scale. So, like uh, from your own now experience, what is the difference between putting the full students in a single block versus uh, focusing on now one student individually, basically? If I if I'm being honest, yeah, yeah. Uh, putting all the students in one block is actually more of a uniform way, right? Yeah. But for for effectiveness, I think yeah. the when you focus on each student individually, it actually yeah, sure. it becomes much easier. For example, yeah, yeah. someone was doing English. Yeah. So if someone is studying English, yeah, you yeah. find that um, at the end of the day, this person is a beginner in English yeah, languages. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. So if you put them in the entire block, yeah, yeah. it is as if it's a whole group. Yeah? Yeah. At the end of the day, tracking even their progress uh, yeah, it becomes sure. very hard. So if as a, a student is left behind in the beginner, but now since they're all in one group, yeah, <laughs> you still move them as, as a block. So I, I, I think that one-on-one -on -one is, is actually uh, the best way for me, honestly. Yeah, yeah sure. So the biggest uh, challenge now comes in, like you see, when you do have uh, 10 students, you can now focus on them one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly. But if you have 50, 1,000, yeah, like it becomes like a bit of a hassle yeah, because he, number one, they want so much peer information from you. Number two, their parents will be calling day in, day out, just wanting to now, to now figure it out. Yeah, so like uh, when you see the now aspect of customer support, yeah, because there are uh, now parents, students, and you're now peer team. Exactly. Like, uh, can you try to differentiate like the difference in terms of like what they want from you, like what the now like what the now parents want, like what the now students want, basically. You see, at, at the end of the day, yeah. the students actually are there to to, to, to be taught, so yeah. they're there for the knowledge. Yeah, sure. But now tracking the progress of the students, yeah, the yeah. parents want a, a platform whereby yeah. Yeah. someone can just log in. Yeah. This, uh, for uh, for example, you have a student who's called uh, uh, a. Yeah, Ibrahim. Yeah, the sure. parents of Ibrahim want yeah. just to log in in their own platform. Yeah? Yeah. They actually track the progress of this student bit by bit. So you find that the platforms are very different. Your staff or your peers, yeah, yeah. they need a platform whereby it is made easier for them to deliver yeah, sure. now to uh, these students. But now these students also want a platform which is actually made more easier than even uh, uh, the ones we, which you have running. And now the parents now, uh, now uh, they come in. Yeah. Whereby they want uh, in, uh, information from both sides. Yeah, sure. The staff side and also the student side. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So actually you, you, you find that I think that that's one of the things which actually Proxima has yeah. actually made easier for us because you know 
we used to use the a traditional way. Oh, okay. Whereby you see now, you create a whole list of the number of students, yeah? <laughs> Call each parent one by one, yeah? yeah you yeah. find that in a whole day, you yeah. had a target of like 85 students, yeah? yeah. You only call like 50. <laughs> 35 of them were offline. So tomorrow again, you have to go again to yeah, another sure. process. So yeah. I think it's a gap which a Proxima came in. Yeah, it sure. filled, it created actually the channels of communication. Now yeah, the sure. proper channels of, of communication are in our uh, institution. Whereby yeah. the staff members actually get to communicate. Yeah. We pass on uh, the knowledge to the students. Yeah, sure. Now the parents now come in uh, in both platforms. Yeah. Whereby they can actually track and also yeah. see the progress of their students. Yeah, that's sure. what uh, the, uh, the staff is trying to uh, uh, deliver. Exactly. Yeah, sure. Okay, so my next uh, question will simply be, yeah, because like you know like what a good student is and what a bad no yeah, and like what a bad one is so like we want to look at these two no peer scenarios there's a certain student like whom does now not get that personalized feel and uh, there's a certain student like whom is put in a single block like at the end of the day like who might now come out on top um be between uh, the student who's uh, getting the good customer support uh -huh. their parent is now up to date basically yeah. then now there is one like whom does now not get that kind of support i actually be, uh, believe that if you work in a block yeah yeah you're, it's like you you are just pushing students in front <laughs> yeah if someone is not able to actually track yeah. their changes and yeah. actually their progress in the yeah. institution yeah? and yeah. also parents are not tracking yeah? Yeah. at the end of the day you find that it's actually very challenging okay. because number one yeah. a student joined in January yeah? Yeah. come on December or yeah. at the end of their course yeah? Yeah. at the end of the day they have nowhere to start from or end from yeah, because sure. it's just messed up yeah, all the sure. information is just in the block uh, and, uh, and this is why you find an incident whereby yeah. A parent comes in, yeah, he's complaining that yeah. my son or my daughter has been coming to school, yeah. yeah. I don't even know where he or she <laughs> is, yeah. He or she just comes to school. Yeah, exactly. Sure. And just yeah. comes to school. So the moment the person who's being tracked is actually yeah. more effective than the person yeah. who's actually running on the block. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if I was the parent, yeah, yeah. I want to be able to track my yeah. own child or and see the progress. Yeah. If they came in at the same yeah. and now, what's their now progress? So yeah, sure. out of from uh, I think it's actually a very different uh, perspective, if I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. Someone is running on a, a block and someone yeah. is actually on an individual yeah. uh, a tracking progress. The individual is actually a more easy, if I'm being honest. Okay, nice. I exactly. Think, yeah, I think that's a very now good answer. Yeah, because for myself, I can try to picture this particular scenario, like whereby like I was now going to school, but I have like very, very different challenges from the next now student. But when the teacher now comes in, my parent can know like what is now bothering me. Exactly. So like my parent can now simply assume that I feel that this because of this, which is like not a very good metric. But if my parent, like they themselves, they can know so yeah, they can know so much from the school uh, at any particular point and that they can simply get this particular information, they can make much more informed now choices in terms of like whether yeah, like whether or not I should now get like a certain book, like exactly. a certain thing. Yeah, because like when you when you now think about customer support, yeah, like like I think it plays like a very very crucial now peer role. And I think in, even yeah. sorry, I just yeah. have to cut in. Okay, even sure. when when you work with the blockchain, yeah, yeah. I think you remember in high school when people uh, I used to uh, be asked. Which grade did you score? Then he says, no, no, you see us in our school, yeah? <laughs> the first person scored grade A. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah. So the, the block system is like yeah. that system. Uh, someone is using someone else's uh, perf yeah. of performance metrics uh, to yeah. actually run his own progress here. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, sure. So like I want us to go into the topic whereby like uh, customer support makes now students perform better and uh, simply talk about the points like which will now make them now improve grades basically. Uh, because like I believe that now at the end of the day, mm -hmm. when you go to school, you want to pass. Like I think nobody has ever been sad when they pass. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. So like uh, customer support, like from the way like I see it, when I was in now uh, campus, campus plus PI school, like I was in third year, and I never knew like where the now, I think now library was because like it is now not part of like what I want to know. And I think it's like also not part of the now information that has been shared with me. Yeah, so like I think uh, customer support plays now this particular part whereby you can talk to the now peer assistant. You can get much more information where the books are, library, the best uh, study patterns. You can even talk about the now school's vision yeah, because like you see when you put yourself in a certain vision 
you can perform better and because like it's uh, simply assimilating yourself with uh, something that is much more bigger than than yourself and i think that is possible simply because there's a certain customer support just uh, the same way when you go to like a supermarket like when you go to that customer service desk you are now able to know more like Okay, exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, like, what uh, do you think, like, about the way customer support makes now learning become much more simple? I think when when you say customer support makes learning become more simpler. Yeah. You know, we are in the twenty first century. If I'm yeah. being honest, yeah. yeah. If you look at the rate of, of whereby books were being sold, yeah, over the past five years and how books are being are being sold, I mean the physical books. Yeah. Are yeah. Sure. yeah. It's actually a, a decreasing. Yeah. Because see, at the end of the day, yeah. yeah. If I'm using my phone and if I'm a student, yeah, yeah. I'm using and I'm going through my phone. Yeah. The basic thing which I want is a cloud-based like uh, system, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Whereby the study materials are integrated. Yeah. You see, if I'm if I'm doing application packages, yeah. Yeah. For example, yeah. There's yeah. so many books. Word, Excel, access. Yeah. You see. I cannot carry a books like someone who's going to high school also <laughs> and who's carrying <laughs> a whole big, bag. Heavy bag. Heavy bag, heavy bag just, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. the moment you, you have a cloud-based system where yeah. I, I can just log in my everything credentials, is yeah. it, uh, everything is there. Yeah. Yeah. Someone who's studying any subject you can just log in. And also you, you find that it actually re re recommends you to more sites which have more yeah, uh, study sure. materials yeah, yeah, sure. depending on the course which you're doing. So yeah. actually it's a very vital uh, role and it's yeah. actually a very vital uh, uh, system for me, honestly. Without yeah, it, sure. uh, <laughs> the whole meaning of uh, of the system even would would be there. Any sense. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you talk about the big bugs, exactly. Yeah, like when I was in, I think class seven. Like I think the best identifier like of someone like who was now serious uh -huh. was a very big was bug. Was a very big bug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they were just talking like exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I think things have now changed yeah, because like it's a very modern world. We do have things like now artificial intelligence. Very, very true. Uh, Ten-year-old, yeah, they do have some very, very now pure good phones. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, I think it's now simply making sure that we can take advantage of the tech to simply now make sure that the parents, students, the stakeholders, they can simply get the best service. And then uh, when you talk about customer support also, like, especially when you talk about, like, an assistant, one for your school, one that has been built, like, for you to serve your now peer students. Okay, like, I think if you can train your own assistant well, it can come in peer as a form of a mentor. Yeah, because, like, you see so many people face so many things. And I think, uh, like, from my time, like, when you wanted to know something, you were supposed to go to see, like, a certain teacher. Hey, Mr. Teacher, exactly. I'm supposed to know, know to know, know, to know, know this, which was a very, very big stumbling block. And because number one, you might find the teacher was in class, the teacher was sent now to do some things. Exactly, it's just yeah. easy. Yeah, exactly. sure. So yeah. now you try to scale this in a certain institution, like whereby there's like a thousand students, like they can't access that teacher throughout the day. And, and remember, uh, he's also <laughs> human. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah so sure. this information also might come through. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Because, like, for customer support, I think so many people, like, like now they do assume that uh, customer support is the secretary somewhere, but customer support will be that particular teacher, like who wants to share something that is now extremely important with a certain student. Customer support will be you when someone now comes to you, and uh, when you have like a very well trained assistant you can minimize this particular now gaps. So Very like uh, instead of me planning for like a day, gathering confidence to say, okay, like I want to go and see this particular teacher, I can go to my phone, talk to the assistant, and I, yeah, then uh, in a second, I can simply get that particular answer. And you see like when you, when you want to scale this, like it can form like a multifaceted thing, like now in a scenario, like it's the now information retrieval, they want to know something, they want to know the best uh, study patterns yeah, because like it's also extremely important. Then based on your own culture, you can put in certain case studies. So student A followed uh, now this particular path. Exactly. Uh, yeah, sure. Then I think uh, like one of the most important things in uh, now institution, when I was in, uh, yeah, when I was in, I think, uh, I think class seven, there was a very big board which are the best uh, performers, like from when the school was now founded. And I think when you get to see that, you can feel uh, this particular connection to like now this particular peer institution. Exactly. Yeah, because like there is the whole concept of 
we are coming from somewhere. Like I think for you, you, you yeah, like for you, you are now like about to celebrate your fifth anniversary, which is a very big milestone. Very huge one. And it's extremely important for you to capture like the past four years and for you to disseminate this particular information, like it makes sense for you to have like a very, very good now peer assistant. Exactly. So that when someone comes, they can know like where ATM college started in uh, 2019. 2019, yeah. yeah. Because for myself, like I, like I was there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you started in a small place, in a very small the place, yeah. vision was big. Exactly. And now five years like have passed and now we do have this big institution. Exactly. Yeah, so like uh, try imagine this particular scenario, like whereby you can make that part of your now peer customer support. Yeah, because like you see, you might uh, bring in like a certain secretary they might come, they might go. And when they go, they do carry like this particular part like about your European institution, which might we are like which uh, might now fail to be filled. But if you track your data well, you train your own peer assistant, someone like who comes in, in now twenty twenty seven, they will still know that particular non peer aspect of your own peer institution. I I think that's a very good key point because yeah. remember I was I was actually having a meeting yeah, yeah. with our branding uh, manager Mr yeah. Adam. Yeah. So he he uh, he he was trying to pass on the information that yeah. if we are able to structure yeah. the four year progress or the five year yeah. progress yeah, yeah. in one script so that if, like, uh, if you have a new secretary who comes in yeah, <laughs> no one has time to explain to them yeah, about all the four year journeys that they're making yeah. So imagine yeah, sure. now, uh, every time when when you have any staff member who's coming in now, yeah. you, you now have to keep on telling the, uh, yeah, the same, sure. same uh, yeah. uh, uh, story that it was yeah. found in this year, <laughs> yeah, this and this. So even you find that, yeah. if a student one day wakes up, yeah, yeah. and he just searches with the AI bot, yeah, or yeah. with the with the chat bot, that, hey, tell me more about the school. Yeah. What's the history about the school? 2019. 2019. Yeah. 2019 yeah. As in, all the information is in one. Yeah. So that it actually saves time. Yeah, exactly. so much. <laughs> exactly. And there's also another key point that you made, yeah? Yeah. It was about... Um, Customer care. Yeah. I think if you ask most of the companies which are being run here, or yeah. most of the clients, yeah, yeah. ask them what, what is a customer care, they'll tell you is actually a help desk which is usually on the front <laughs> of the office, yeah, <laughs> when every information which you want you get from them. Yeah. I think that that's more of a, a traditional way. Yeah, it's so traditional. It's more of a traditional yeah. way. If I'm a student, yeah, yeah. in a, a campus, we say like ATM College, the Instagram yeah. campus, yeah. where we have like more than 100 <laughs> students, 50 to 100 students. Yeah. If I have 60 students over them, yeah. I'm a student who is actually shy to speak to any teacher. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now, when will I ever get the, uh, this information? <laughs> yeah, sure. I think it's so where now, I now, uh, now uh, Bridges, bridges the gap. In, in yeah, the sure. gap yeah. yeah, it exactly. bridges the gap, the gap so much. Yeah, because like I think, like for most uh, learning institutions, exactly, like they try to portray this customer centric now, yeah, like no peer approach. Yeah, yeah, because like for them, they want to say something now, like oh, it is one teacher for like uh, twenty students. Mark you, they do have like a 30 different peer classes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, so like you might find like a single teacher, we, we yeah, like, we, like no peer, we love so many people. Exactly. Yeah, like, we, yeah, like no, which won't personalize. Then, like, uh, we are very different people. Some people might no peer come out as bold, and a certain student might say, okay, like, eh. Hey, this particular teacher now looks so bold. Exactly. Like I now want to go to him. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because like when I was in a primary PI school, PI campus, there were just uh, these particular teachers, like whom when you saw them passing here, you could uh, simply jump on a tree to cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think exactly, with yeah. uh, artificial intelligence, you can now bridge this particular gap. Yeah, because like we are uh, different people. Some like peer extroverts, introverts, and I think you should serve like the needs of yeah, like peer of each and every student. Of each and every student, yeah. Yeah, sure. I think one important peer aspect like is the mental well being. Yeah, because like you might find it so much, so many students will be now depressed, peer anxious, some form of fear yeah, some form of fear. And I think that once you have like a very, very good peer assistant, it can play that gap. Like whereby they want to get some peer assurance, yeah, and what uh, do you think? Like now, peer is the st- yeah, like now peer is the state of uh, mental well-being in uh, your peer institution, basically. 
I think um, you see most yeah. of the numbers which you are running it one yeah. there they are uh, actually youths. Oh, okay. Exactly. Yeah. So I think it's actually from the social age of, uh, pressures. Social <laughs> pressures uh, is actually there. The yeah. age from actually uh, fourteen yeah. until twenties there to thirties. Oh, okay. I don't. Yeah. I think really is that is so from fourteen there until uh, yeah yeah the late twenties. So when it comes to mental issues, I think yeah. the social pressure is actually what uh, brings it. Yeah. Okay. See, what kind of social pressure? Maybe? We. Uh, we live in a way. We live in a in a world where by um, social media is taken over almost yeah, everything. Yeah. So yeah. cyberbullying is usually there. Yeah, if I'm yeah, being true. honest, yeah. yeah, exactly. So we find that coping with these students. You see, finding students to open up is actually very hard. Yeah, true. So if the AI, which is actually being used right now, yeah, yeah. it actually becomes easier for them actually to uh, communicate with it. Yeah, okay. Let's say someone came from home, yeah? yeah. They had an issue with their family. Yeah. This person, they, there is no way he'll be <laughs> concentrating in the class. <laughs> yeah, a, a teacher will, will, will just be speaking with yeah, themselves sure. in, yeah, um, yeah, in sure. the telephone. Yeah. So he or she won't give you the issues which yeah. are there. Yeah? Yeah. You as a teacher, assume you have 50 people, yeah? Yeah. noticing it is actually very hard for me. So now, the only way they can actually get the counseling and yeah. also the way forward with their lives is right. actually to now. Yeah. Exactly. The only way now is you know through the AI. Yeah, sure. You see, I remember even me as a as a as a as a teacher and also as a, a, a director. Yeah. You wake up in the morning, you're tired. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't call any of your staff members. You just go and then you you. You are grumpy though. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I go. Yeah. There, I try to I, I chat with the with the with the assistant. Uh, just uh, assistant, to... which is the actual. Yeah, sure. Hi. Uh, it's in the morning. Okay. I, I feel a bit lazy. What's the way forward which you can do? Yeah, which so comes actually, in a very proactive way for you to go through your day. Exactly. So yeah, I, sure. I think the AI which being now in, uh, injected inside the system, it actually makes it more easier for the students to yeah. open up here. Yeah. And yeah, also oh, it nice. provides so, uh, uh, provide the opportunities and solutions for actually which they'll uh, implement to make sure that their studies flow actually uh, yeah, sure. smoothly. Okay, sure. And, uh, can you talk about stress management a bit here? Because like in our day to day like in our day to day activities, like there's so much stress from all corners. Yeah, like from all peer corners basically. It yeah. actually depends on the age group you're speaking about, yeah. <laughs> Someone who's who's, who's uh, if from a student perspective, I think it's actually the rate is very low. Oh, okay. Someone who's being paid school fees by the parent has no stress here. <laughs> yeah. uh, at the end of the day, he wakes up in the morning, there's food comes the to school, there's food on the table, Uber he bolt. just goes back this Uber <laughs> bolt. <laughs> so yeah, it's smooth sure. life. But now the the people who actually face that are the are the staff. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, and actually at the peers because he. You have an example of a teacher, yeah. has a wife or has like three kids, yeah? yeah. The stress is there. Yeah, we, for sure. we are on the same place. Yeah. This stuff, the yeah. rate of them coming to tell you, yeah, is yeah. actually a below 50%. Yeah. No one is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna, is gonna to is gonna come and tell you, check here. I have an issue with my yeah, wife or I have an issue with my wife. No one is going <laughs> yeah, to come and get it. It's so personal me. between them. And it's them so personal people. now, yeah. yeah sure. But the, uh, he just uses AI, chats with an uh, as a assistant who's there. Hi. What are the so the new, uh, are the options which I have with my family? Do or which yeah, exactly. Yeah, which comes in as a now therapist. In which some comes way. in as a therapist in some way. Yeah, sure. yeah, like yeah. I think mental now peer yeah like mental well being is a very very important field yeah, because like when you're stressed, when you are depressed, when you are going through some few things, you can't perform at all. Very true. Yeah, because from the first minute to the other, you are just wondering what next. Exactly. Okay, now here. Yeah, so like I think to get uh, those systems in place like will boost performance so much very yeah, very because true. like now there is a uh, this particular private place like where now someone can share without uh, being now peer embarrassed yeah because like you see you might be the kindest person but someone will see you in a very different peer light because you are now peer going through some things yeah so like i think it can promote the social well-being yeah, because like when you do have a smile on your face yeah like, yeah, like you can make more friends, much more peer simpler. Yeah, because like now you are like a peer warm person basically. Very, very true. Actually, and I think one of the most important aspect, like is the administrative now support. When someone comes, they want to know the fees, they want to know the dates, they want to know the terms, they want to know the teachers, which can be so cumbersome. Yeah, because like when you are now opening your semester basically, you can get uh, some, something like a uh, thirty different peer students coming to the now peer, yeah, coming to the now peer reception. Right. They want to know this particular information. One comes in at two, one comes in at nine, 
one wants to know in the middle of the night <laughs> <laughs> very, so very like you should have like a system which can make this so simple yeah then uh, i think uh, like uh, another important peer aspect like me now peer as a parent my kid might lie okay like i'm not supposed to go to school tomorrow my kid might so okay, like ah the school said this same but thing has been <laughs> happening with the uh, trainers. You see, um, yeah. a student came to school on Monday. Yeah. Skipped three days. He he he, he came back on a Friday. <laughs> he all these days he's been telling uh, the parent that he came to class. Yeah. yeah. So now on Friday now, yeah. now uh, the communication now between the staff and the and the parent now it becomes very very horrible. This so is now how do you uh, convince <laughs> a parent that my stu- uh, 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 your child has not been coming or your child has, uh, has been coming. Yeah. So if they can go through actually the, uh, the platform. Attendance and Attendance uh, yeah. reports. Just give now, this information. Exactly. The information is actually there on their hand. Yeah, sure. Because, like, I think one important aspect, like, is when you tell, like, a certain kid something, you tell them, go t- tell this to your parent, six times out of ten they won't, which is a very bad trait. Very, very true. Mom, we are supposed to have like a fund, yeah, like a fund, something in school. Mom, tomorrow is supposed to be sports. They come, like they want basically. But if a parent can now go get this particular information straight from you via the peer, yeah, via the peer assistant, it can become so much easier. Then I think one other important aspect, and because like when you're talking to them, like you are getting so much data, so much information, like what they want, their pain points, you can see the trends in terms of communication patterns and like which can simply make you now optimize your services in a way that will serve them in a much more better way yeah, because like you are now getting this factual information like you're not yeah like you're now not coming up with your marketing strategies very true yeah like from the dark yeah, so like i think that's a very important aspect and uh, just on our last topic we can talk about the future of customer support in your sector like what uh, do you think sh- now should be done to make it better basically i think i'll start with the point where when i was coming here yeah. i had a small meeting here with yeah. adam of the jama yeah he's our branding manager okay he also has the passion of teaching uh, oh, nice. uh, uh, languages yeah. so he asked me and even is more of a, a request here yeah, yeah that proxima ai and, yeah. uh, and the chatbots yeah yeah how will they help our language students in terms of uh, a communication? Yeah, okay. Let's say a student is learning uh, English or Swahili. Yeah, yeah. I think from last time, from the launch, if I'm being honest, I, think I remember after the launch, is yeah. when you implement now the yeah. multilingual uh, platform. Yeah, now. Sure. Yeah. We, we now have all, all the, uh, yeah. uh, the languages yeah. now. Yeah, sure. So if a student is studying English, yeah, yeah. how will um, the AI and the chatbots help them in yeah. the system in actually learning uh, the language more easier and more faster in an uh, uh, efficient way yeah true. exactly yeah. same thing also is about uh, communication yeah yeah i believe that customer focus and customer care yeah. at the end of the day it revolves on the communication yeah true yeah but the only thing we, uh, we 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 can request actually is actually to get um a more easier way of communicating yeah, with true. both the parents and with both the students yeah. i believe that one of the toughest thing we have been having you see for the tech students it's very easy you just tell someone <laughs> okay go to uh, log in your school portal or log in into this and this platform yeah. you're done yeah true them even interacting with the chatbot is very easy yeah. but now the group of language students we have there yeah them even trying to say hi to the, uh, it's the a chatbot challenge yeah. it's a very huge challenge yeah. simplify it exactly so if we can simplify it in a way such that yeah, yeah. if i'm a student who's learning english or yeah. Kiswahili or any yeah. other language which we are teaching french or be it yeah. a german yeah, yeah i can log in yeah yeah i have a very simple conversation with the chatbot yeah. and it is able to understand my grammatical errors yeah. and it helps me also to, exactly yeah, sure. yeah. i think that's going to be a very huge impact uh, to our own uh, systems if i'm being honest yeah, yeah sure yeah, i think that's a very good point Okay, for myself, like now I can say, like I want to vision like a point whereby, like now each and every student got their own personal peer assistant. Exactly. Which is personalized, not to the school, but now to you, to the school, knows you so well, character, values, principles, comes in as a mentor, as a teacher, peer also. Yeah, so like I think that is what we are now building to simply make sure that uh, they can go with this peer, yeah, like peer on their phones, peer throughout on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at night. Yeah, so like I think that's the future and uh, that's like what you want to basically build. 
And because like first the mission is to make sure that your customer support becomes your competitive no P advantage. If Very someone true. wants to talk to you, it will take them less than a second to get like a feedback from you. Exactly. Compare that now to when someone wants to talk to you, they will get like a feedback tomorrow. I you can't compete with such a person. It's like the people who usually uh, send us a, 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 who, who chat with us via Facebook and Messenger. <laughs> they usually see a very long day. Yeah. You just log in there, you see that the, the person texted yeah. on her. Yeah. It's a new client, maybe. Huh? Yeah. They sent a message on September the 10th. Yeah. So, in fact, even you just call at the, at the secretaries or, the, or, or any person who's in charge, and then you're like, we are on the 20th or the 30th. <laughs> uh, how will you now start to reply to someone who yeah, texted the on the 10th? The person yeah. is gone. Honestly. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for your time. Mr. Liban, thank you so much. I, I appreciate your time. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah please uh, look out for the next uh, for the next podcast. You can yeah you can share like yeah like now peer where they can simply find you. Exactly, you can find us on uh, Twitter, Instagram, be it Facebook, and even you can check out our website at uh, ATM College. Twitter now. Twitter at ATM College. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, A ATM. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Okay. okay, thank you guys. See, See you then. next time. We appreciate it. Thank it's you. Okay.